Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holler at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? What we got next? We got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello everybody. It's time for another episode of Paul Mash TV. We're glad that you could join us again as usual. And we got a great interview coming up in just a couple minutes here. But first, as always, uh, if you'd like to contact us, I'd like to be on the show, so on. There's uh, a couple different ways you can do that. Just email us at paulmashtv at gmail.com. And remember, you can use that not just for fan mail, but you can use that uh, for band or solo information. And how to be on the show, and we'll go from there. And uh, you can also uh, go to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. Feel free to like the page, and and uh, you can inbox us there and reply to all the things you see, and uh, we'd love to hear from you there. And don't forget, you can subscribe on YouTube right now by just clicking that subscribe button, hitting the bell, and you, you'll always get the latest inf- uh, interviews whenever they become available. And don't forget, we have a closing credit screen, so stay tuned for that if you missed anything. And uh, we'll go from there. In just a moment, we'll have our interview. It'll be with Young Spade from Seattle, Washington. Very talented uh, artist, as always. And I think you're really going to like him. But first, let's uh, have a quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. everybody it's time for interview time and with us we have young spade from seattle washington thanks for joining us young peace (laughs) well we're glad that you could join us here um we've had a little bit of a complication getting you on here but we're glad that we finally got you on Um, so why don't we start with the obvious question um you know a lot of people have a different story when it comes to how they started in the music business and I just wanted to, uh, to know what your story was. I mean, uh, have you always been influenced by music? Has there been, you know, did you just kind of fall into it? Everybody has their own story, like I said, so why don't you tell me your story? I can say for me, it's always been like an underlining love that I've had for music. I could say I've listened to a lot of different genres throughout my years, mm-hmm. and I can say as an artist, I've learned that like you usually compile all of your favorite artists into one, I guess, concrete style that becomes yours. You have your own flavor mixed in with everybody else's influence. And for me, I feel like music has always kind of been like a, a part of a guide of my life. Like I can be able to listen to us. Well, I can listen to a song and be like, OK, I'm going through this situation. And somehow this song is actually like really really hitting hard on that topic and it's actually giving me the answers that i need so like it's always i guess i could say it's been kind of like a tool that i use to kind of keep myself balanced it's almost like drinking a glass of water a day like it should be healthy most people don't do it but if you try it really can't hurt you like it's just something that i really enjoy it's like just giving a piece back of of like me to the people all of my (laughs) fans that listen to my music it's just a passion. I don't know. Like I've always, always wanted this, like not even be an artist, but have my own forefront to be able to start, I guess I could say a lane for other artists that feel just like me. You have a lot of people that don't really know exactly, I guess I could say what route they want to go in music, but they just know they love music. You feel me? Like 
it's a very deep passion and they have a talent, but they just don't know how to grasp onto it and take off with it. And I felt like that's what I was struggling with for a while and just learned that it was that that yearning for, I guess, just to create something. And music is just what I've learned. It's just a lot of things being remixed into new sounds and every single time it's a new elevation. It takes a different sound to a new type of tone. Like, but I can say that's that's pretty much how I feel about it. That's how why I got into it. Okay. Well well that's a pretty good story there actually. Um and I'm glad that you were able to get influenced by uh, a mixture of genres, as you said. Uh, you know, and matter of fact, that's what we stand for here at Home Mash TV. We don't have one genre we love; we love a lot of them. So, uh, so that's good to know. Uh, and speaking of that, uh, what would you say your uh, biggest influences were uh, growing up in the music world? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot that really influenced you to become a musician. Maybe you can mention a few of them. I can say uh, it started off. Man, R and B, really not honestly. I can say Michael Jackson, like mm -hmm. Prince, like the old old type vibes that people really in all honesty. I can say the younger generation really wouldn't sit back and listen to because it's not their style of music. Like I grew up on R and B, and then when I started getting into rap, I was listening to artists like Lupe Fiasco or like Q Tip or a Tribe Called Quest. Like I kept it in a realm where like, I don't know, I kept my consciousness. And then once I got older, I started going into other things that I felt like, okay, I just want to listen to it and test it out and see how it is. And then I got into trap, you're right, listening to like Gucci Man and Waka Faka Flame and T.I. and people that fall into that genre. And most people sat back and they were like, well, you know, that doesn't really seem like a, a type of genre that you would listen to. And I'm like, well, as an artist, for one, and even as, as that a music lover, like you kind of don't shun out everything. You at least try to give it a chance. And if you don't like it, you can at least say as you listen to it, it was something that you actually took the, like, that's pretty much all I really saw it as. And it's always new experiences from different music. Like I can listen to a new artist now. And if I like it, I add it on to my playlist and, it becomes a, a continuous loop. And I usually listen to the same music almost all the time. Like, it's not usually anything that I change up. But if I do, it's usually because something is unctioned me to go out and listen to something else. Or I end up finding a new artist that I start listening to and stuff like that. But it's usually kind of like same routine. It's like I have my own radio station that I be playing. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. Yeah, and, and Michael Jackson, I mean, uh... I think there's so many people that, uh, you know, that connect with Michael Jackson as far as an influence goes. So I, I think that's pretty one of mine, too, you know, because I still remember having his Thriller album when I was younger. So um, so I think he's pretty one that, uh, I mean, a pretty, you know, uh, pretty much it, you know, <laughs> as far as that goes. Um, and do you have any albums out? And if you do, uh, do you have any physical copies or, or is it all digital? Uh, maybe you can tell us where to get them, too. I can say as far as right now, I do have um, an album out called YOTBS, which stands for Year of the Black Sheep. It's, um, if I'm not mistaken, I know it can be found on Amazon. It can be found on iTunes. Uh, I believe it's on Spotify as well. I, I really don't remember at this moment. There's a lot of things that I can say that transpired between uh the last couple of years in my personal life i kind of really had to like set aside my music and try to focus on what i needed to get ready for myself and it kind of became a little struggle because now i'm at the point where it's like i want to get back into music but with the way that the industry is now it's like is it even worth it like i can try to put out my type of substance of music but if it doesn't grasp onto the ears it's almost like i'm not to put it in a disrespectful manner, but it's like wasted talent. It's like, you don't wanna try to come out and think that you're gonna be on the same level as J. Cole just because you sound like them. Like I understand the legwork that has to be done, but I'm not trying to make those superstar level jumps all at once. Like I wanna make sure that I know every single level before I get there. That's why I said a lot of people, they don't understand it because they're like, dude, you already sound like a superstar. You can get signed overnight. And I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't tell me that I'm going to be ready for everything that comes that next day. Like, 
it's going to be a whole different lifestyle that comes with it. And once I change, I have to make sure that everybody I have around me is ready for that transition and that they're going to be loyal to everything that comes with it. Because I've sat back and watched all of my favorite rappers and everything that they went through their mistakes, their successes, every single idea that they put into, like, I guess I could say their craft and their career to show where they are now. And some of them, I can say they live comfortably. Others, I can tell they didn't, ra- they kind of didn't make the right decisions. But that's just how life is. You live and you learn, you make mistakes and you learn how to grow from them. And I feel like that's a lot of things that I can say that I've came from on that. Wow. I went on a whole rant talking about my album. Sorry about that. No, no, no. That's all right. Um, uh, well, speaking of that, I don't know if this is on the album either, but we're getting ready to watch a music video of yours in a moment. Uh, can you tell us the title of it and what the story is about on the song? Oh, man, Sunshine. Uh, fun fact about Sunshine lets you know how blessed a person is and how much we really don't realize exactly how much grace we have on our lives at the end of the day. Uh, this was in, I want to say sometime around 2012, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Um, I had a couple of friends that I uh, worked with when I was going to Full Sail. They had a project that they were doing and they said that they had to make a music video. So I let him listen to my song and he was like, dude, I want to make a music video for that. Like, just let me know whenever you're free and we can set up the time and all of that. And I was like, well all right, cool. Well, I already got a concept for it. And I was like, if we can actually like set everything up, I feel like it'll come out the way that it, it, that I'm, I feel like it'll come out the way that the song needs to be visualized. So we, um, got together and it's crazy because how everything fell together, it pretty much mapped out the story of the song at the same time. Like we had to redo the song twice when I recorded it. We had to re pretty much do redo the video shoot two times and when um, we finally got the shot it was almost like everything flowed perfectly like the the hook of the song pretty much explains the fact that we kind of go through hard times in life but at the end of the day one thing that we don't understand is even though clouds may be going like it's funny even though the clouds may be out, the sun is still shining on top of them. So it's kind of a depiction of my struggles and what I went through, everything that I feel like that I wanted to do, everything that I felt like I was going to be at at that time, and was just telling people, although I struggled, I still got sunshine. Like, but that's, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good story behind that song. And, uh, of course, as I mentioned, we'll be watching that in just a minute. But, um, but uh, Young, we just want to thank you for uh, joining us on the show today. We I enjoy talking with you, and we'd love to have you back again sometime if you ever got anything to the plug. So hope you'll keep us in mind. Most definitely, man. And I thank you for the time. Yeah, no problem. And uh, here it is, Sunshine by Young Spade, right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. I mean, we in the studio right now. They've been asking for it. So here it is. Alias. Okay, sitting up on that tidal wave. Getting guap with that Raiders gang. When they seven this you your beat, that dead lock for your ankle waves. Drop the heat and I disappear. Still shining loud with that chandelier. This wavy gang is why I'm a beat. Oh, you got a prime gang, bang the heat. Tell them I can be me, it is seeming that I'm bossing now. Haters play their part, that means you watching us, please shut your mouth. I'll rap the YOLO, rip that solo joint, that word of mouth. Still rocking my apron machete. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. Moving like an army, bring the rebels in it. Push them out, you say that it's a prime You'll never try to take us out Fire in the hole, brick and building So they hit the grind, it's only the beginning To the ending of your ultrasound Say they making money, but you never making doubles up Boy, I moved the triples way before you made the 40s club Recognize a legend, boy, before you rest in endless peace Eager till it's spinal cord, I'm cooking up that recipe Devastation, I brings that Flipping back your fitted cap Unlacing your shoestrings, shell force from that Black Mac, Space Raiders, we all here, and we ain't going nowhere. Causing so much chaos, just be ready for them gray hairs. Yeah. Keep talking, and I'll show you what I'm all about. Play me, you a rapper, but you'll never take my title route. 
put this beat in the hearse and sat that moment of silence. Dark night rising now, comic flow, pal. Tell me that the world's mine, you know that I will shine. Cruising down memory lane, feeling like it's my time. Tell me that the world's mine, you know that I will shine. Sitting on top of the clouds, enjoying that sunshine. Tell me that the world's mine, you know that I will shine. Cruising down memory lane, feeling like it's my time. Tell me that the world's mine, you know that I will shine. Yeah, the world's mine, you know that yeah, I will shine. I went shine. from shacking up to racking, making millions off a single verse. Diamonds on my neck, diamonds, diamonds, oh, I know where it hurts. You was just my motivation, now it's time to overstunt. Ready for the game, like I'm waiting for that starting punt. Moving on so many levels, I carry my weight like a balance. If it's your girl, she did me, I got a rich and told her to bury yourself for the hell of it, my bad. The truth is, I'm not here just to flaunt my bliss. Turning down that limelight, not witness the real kid. Want to find the truth? Drop the bars and then hit the booth. Decline all these labels, give these a and R's the black boot. You're better off on your own. You and all your real friends. Find yourself a group of people that's down the right and that's to the end. So many lost dreams, never showing my fears. Fought for my rights, so yeah, it's been one the hell of a year. Excuse my French, but my forte ain't right and clean. To be loved by these fans, to be hated by the team. Yeah. Track one. I think we did our job on this one. Alias, what up? Why you saw? Yo, the music. FBC. Day. Let's go. Sitting on top of the